watching Let's Chat. I told you a moment ago you have an opportunity to get some free ballet lessons from the Chattanooga Ballet, and we're going to talk now with the executive director, and that is John Faramore. John, good morning, and welcome to the broadcast. Good morning. Small correction, Faramond. Faramond? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I misread. No, that's quite all right. My I'm mistake. Sorry. Let's re rack and morning. start over. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got you here, John. Tell us a little bit about the history, if you would, of the Chattanooga Ballet. Oh, well, the history is is long. It actually was founded in 1973, so it's coming up on its 50-year anniversary and uh, has long been uh, the preeminent dance school in town and then in the mid-'80s uh, formed its first professional company. And so we also, in addition to the largest school, uh, also have the only professional uh, ballet company in the region. Uh, and so... Uh, that's been growing and we continue to grow even uh, in some ways through this uh, pandemic. I was going to ask you how you guys have uh, adapted to the restrictions that the pandemic has put on most of society. Ballet by its very nature requires a lot of folks to be fairly close together. How have you guys gotten through this part of it? Well, you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, there's there's no substitute for in-person uh, training. So, you know, we adapted quite quickly uh, and that mostly what we had to do was cut the number of children and adults in any class uh, almost in half to provide uh, the, the social distance that was needed. Uh, and then we also put in a very strict and fairly comprehensive, not fairly comprehensive uh, uh, cleaning protocols uh, because there's lots of touching of bars and things like that. So uh, we have adapted uh, by expanding the number of classes so we could have less people in each class that and, and also uh, mand mandatory masks from the moment you walk in to the moment you leave, which uh, some people might uh, raise their eyebrows about doing ballet, which is highly athletic in masks, but everyone has adapted very successfully. Tell us a little bit about both ballet in the park and the video Nutcracker. Uh, well, I, you know, that is part of the adaptation, if you will, of obviously uh, doing performances in a theater where people were sitting shoulder to shoulder was simply not going to happen, uh, both from safety and the fact that the theaters were just closed. Uh, so what our artistic director and I did do is we did create a ballet in the park um, at White Oak Park in Red Bank, which was very successful. We had over 450 people for each of our performances. Wow. Uh, and what that did was allow people to be outside, to be socially distanced and still you know, enjoy a performance. And then, you know, the Nutcracker, which is arguably one of the largest, uh, you know, arts events in the region every year at the Tivoli, couldn't do that. So we wound up uh, filming the entirety of it about at about uh, nine different locations across Chattanooga, and it was broadcast and streamed by WTCI. So uh, very, very creative. Sure. You know, I think creatives get creative in times like this. And, you know, in this particular case, if you couldn't go to the ballet, the ballet came to you. And now you guys That's are right. in the process of offering some free ballet classes, correct? That is correct. And it's, it's free to everyone, not just the people who are enrolled. And the reason we're doing this, again, you want to talk about adaptation, uh, is when Governor Lee signed the order uh, that runs through January 19th, limiting the number of people who can be at an indoor activity. Right. You know, obviously, we respect that. We respect that. Uh, and so what we did was move our entire semester, which was supposed to start on January 4th, we moved that back to the 19th. But again, we have the ability to live stream classes. And so that is what we are doing to anybody who would like to log on and see those. And it's for everyone from three-year-olds all the way up to adult. Wow. And ballet is one of those disciplines that will improve your strength, your breathing, your overall physical coordination, your mental and your physical discipline. It's just, it's, um, there's a lot more to it than what a casual observer might see, correct? It's very true. Everything you just mentioned, plus balance and flexibility, it is shockingly athletic. I think that what's fascinating is pro professional ballet dancers make it look so easy, and that's right. a part of the art 
when it's uh, you know such d a demand on your body sure um so it's great for kids great for adults and uh it's if you would just like to see what happens in a class this might be a good opportunity to John, log on and see that we got to leave it there find out more about the great work they are doing at the chattanooga ballet chat c-h-a-t-t -T, ballet that's chat ballet.org we'll be right back thank you <laughs>